This tape from Michael D'Antonio, the Trump biographer, uh, and and which provided it to the New York Times. I, I, I think this is newsworthy tape, and I think it is hel helpful to understanding how Donald Trump is running for president now because he. Uh, on tape here talks in this very unguarded way about how he sees himself and that is a rare thing that we don't usually get from any candidate let alone from him but there is another piece of this tape that has never been heard publicly before which we have got for you in just a second and this other piece of tape i think this is just like a dart into the heart of today's news and it's on a subject that has only come up a, a little bit in, in the campaign so far. It came up for an instant earlier in this campaign when Donald Trump named Mike Pence to be his running mate. One of the controversial things in Mike Pence's record is that he is on record being against women in the military. Uh, from the very beginning of him running for Congress, Mike Pence was against not just women in combat, but even women in, being in combat support units. He was even against women being allowed to do basic training for the military. Mike Pence wrote this creepy column in 1999 about young, nubile, 18-year-old women in basic training. The column ends with this line, I kid you not, women in the military, bad idea. That's the bottom line of his column on women in the military. So that's on record already from Mike Pence, from Donald Trump's running mate, dating back to the time when Pence was a you know, talk radio host mounting his second run for Congress. That was the time he actually lost while running for Congress. That run most remembered for Mike Pence using campaign contributions to pay for his mortgage, his grocery bills, his car payment, and his golfing fees. He let his campaign donors pay for all that stuff. I mean, if Mike Pence were running with any normal Republican, I think he would have been, I think he would have been a scandal as a running mate. I think things in his record would have been a scandal to his running mate, would have been a problem for his running mate. I think it is testament to Donald Trump that he is so controversial that picking Mike Pence with Mike Pence's record, it hasn't given Donald Trump a single day of heartburn in the entire campaign. I mean, if in this campaign anybody could pay attention to Mike Pence for more than 10 seconds without passing out from lack of oxygen, this thing from him about women in the military, bad idea, that would be a scandal, right? That would be a problem for a campaign. Maybe it will still be someday. I mean, for a long time, I have felt like this issue has been a lurking liability for Trump and Pence, just sort of waiting at some point to cause them trouble. Well, now that trouble may finally be coming to pass. Because now, with this new tape that we are about to broadcast for the first time ever, this has never been heard publicly anywhere before. This is first time anywhere. Here is Donald Trump, not 16 years ago or 18 years ago, and Mike Pence was talking about this stuff. Here's Donald Trump two years ago in 2014, unprompted, answering a totally unrelated question and just deciding to bring up voluntarily his Donald Trump opinion on women in the military. When you were young, what did you think of the 60s counterculture? The hippies, the music, you didn't do any of that stuff. No, I wasn't into it. It wasn't that I wasn't into it. Um, what did you think? Well, I went, I went to a military academy, which was from a different planet. Okay? <laughs> yeah. You know, we didn't have that. Yeah. And we didn't have women in the, in the academy at that time. Today you have women. Mm -hmm. uh, which is a whole other story. You know, women in the army. Yeah. And you see what's going on. It's like... It's like bedlam. Yeah. It is bedlam. It's something that people aren't talking about. Yeah. But what's going on is bedlam. Bringing women in the army. Bringing women in the army, women in the military, it's bedlam. And his running mate says, women in the military, bad idea. Ask military families how they feel about that and a potential commander in chief. Ask women in the military how they feel about that and a potential commander in chief. Ask women in general how they feel about that. Bringing women into the army, bedlam. It's something people aren't talking about, but what's going on is bedlam. Bringing women in the army, it's bedlam. Women in the military, bad idea. The two of them are in line on that question. It is therefore a reasonable question to ask if Trump and Pence do get elected, will they kick all women out of the military? They're both on record saying it is a terrible thing that women are in the military. It's a terrible thing. It's even a disgusting thing. We ought to go back to only men serving in the military. Is that what we should do? 
I mean, this one has been lurking just under the surface for them for quite a while now, but now we've got it on tape. I would love to hear an answer for this.